<laughs> You're so beautiful, Tori. Oh. Hi, guys, everyone, <laughs> whoever you may be. My name is Solo if you're new here, and if you're a regular, welcome back. This is. I'm Tori. Tori. I'm seven. Seven. She is Tori is an awesome girl, beautiful, loves everybody, and makes us laugh a lot. Today I'm gonna tell Tori a story of when I was a little boy growing up in Kenya. This story happened, I think I was around nine years old. We grew up uh, uh, in Nairobi near what the Nairobi National Park. And uh, Nairobi National Park is a game reserve um, in the middle of a city. In that reserve, they also have what they call a safari walk. And it's, it's a zoo where you get to kind of walk and, and see animals. They try to kind of make it a little bit more natural. And so um, uh, growing up near there, it's a place we went often. Sometimes after school, in the afternoon before the parents will come home, we'll just go there through that, the zoo and whatnot, or go for the weekends as a family outing. I was going to tell Tori one time, um, we, we, we got out of school early and my sister, Auntie Josephine, you guys call Auntie Nya, Josephine, who's a little bit older than me, her and I went to, to see with her friend uh, to just take a stroll at the zoo there, at the, at the safari walk. And so as we're going in, checking out the animals, it was kind of always fun to do, it's something we always like to do. But there was this, the most active place in the zoo was where all the, the monkeys and the chimpanzees and the gorillas were. They seemed to always make people laugh and do funny things and people always like to watch them because they're kind of silly all the time. So this time, uh, so we're starting there and I think I was actually eating one of those popsicles, uh, you know, and um, just uh, completely lost and excited about it. It started getting really loud and people are just heckling. <laughs> I'm thinking, what in the world is going on here? And then all of a sudden, everybody ducked. And I thought, what is going on? What is funny? So I stood up to try and see, why are people ducking? And as I stood up, something hit me. The gorilla, his name was Sebastian. I will never forget his name because of what he did to me. He had a rotten papaya that he threw it right on my face and everybody knew he was about to do that and that's why they ducked and I had no idea and so I'm like I went into like oh what's going on oh papaya all over my face and everybody just started laughing I was so embarrassed I couldn't know whether to cry I was just embarrassed that everybody was laughing at me but really they were not laughing at me they were laughing with me because they knew what was going on uh you know it took me a couple of days to actually start laughing at myself because i was so upset at that time but uh the more i thought about it, it was actually very funny you know so and people were not laughing at me they were laughing with me but from now from that time on i knew it if i'm gonna go out of that zoo and sebastian starts doing any somersaults and being silly no way or not would I lift my head there and look, but I've never forgotten what happened. What would you have done if you was you? Um, maybe I would have ducked and looked after, <laughs> just in case something bad was happening. <laughs> oh, I see. I was just curious. I'm like, oh, I know. So, would you like to go to that zoo one yeah. of these days? Yeah? I think they, oh, not I think, I know they still have it. But I, Sebastian's probably well gone. He was an older gorilla. Or How did you know his name? He was a very popular one. He had been at that zoo for a long time. And he, and he also, well, the, the reason people loved him a lot, he was very entertaining. And in fact, people would come over there. He'd do all sorts of tricks for people. And so whenever you went to the place where he was, it was always crowded because people just loved him. He was always fun. He interacted with people and made everybody happy. <laughs> it was kind of gross coming from a gorilla, but papayas are awesome. You get it in tropical countries. Um, uh, and if you've never tried a papaya, 
You ought to try one. Just don't get it from a gorilla and a rotten one. You would really, really love it. <laughs> All right, that's it for now. Bye. Thanks for joining us.